Hi everybody, Ed Berger from the Tackle Direct Pro Staff. I know, it looks like I broke my kayak, but I didn't. We have the latest from Point 65 North, and we're going to tell you all about it. This is George Manley. George, welcome to Tackle Direct. Thanks, Ed. Nice to see you. Tell you know, it looks like it really looks like I ran over my kayak with my truck here, <laughs> but I know I didn't because this is a brand new product from Point 65 North. Point 65 North. Tell me a little bit about the company first, and then we'll get into the kayak. Point 65 North is the uh, largest kayak company in Scandinavia, in Northern Europe. Um, they sell all over the world. They have a big business in Australia, big business in the Middle East, big business in Asia. They've only been in the States about four years, um, and they actually entered the market with this new modular product, which is about four years old as well. Uh, the kayak company is a full-size company, so they do everything from recreational boats that are made out of polyethylene plastic like this, all the way up to racing composite surf skis, which compete in the, in the world racing circuit. Yeah, but this particular product is really interesting because it's a new twist, because there are people out there that don't necessarily want a full-size kayak or are restricted and can't use it. Exactly. Well, the, the boat was really designed for that customer that either is on a budget and doesn't want to break into the sport and spend $2,000 in order to get into a boat. Um, but it's also for people that uh, have previous injuries or don't have somebody with them that can help them put their boat on their, on their car, that sort of thing. Um, it's really meant to be a convenience uh, factor for people. What about the construction of the kayak? What's it made of? It's made out of polyethylene, uh, three-layer polyethylene. It's a bulletproof plastic that you know, a, lot of, a lot of kayaks are made out of. Um, it is recyclable. Uh, we have a little symbol on the, each side, the inside of each piece which shows that uh, you know, once you dispose of this after 20 years, it can, it can be turned into recycled uh, materials. Super. I guess the best thing we do is just put one together. Sounds good. Right, let's do that. All right, come on. So this is the front section. Uh, each section is 24 and a half pounds. So it's meant to be light and convenient, and just about everyone can, can carry it. So each of the boats go together with a tongue and groove. Uh, the purpose of this joint is to actually hold the boat together. So these ratchet straps are only in place just to keep it tight. Right. But your body weight on the boat is actually keeping uh, the joint tighter and keeping the whole thing together while you're floating in the water. Each section will float on its own. You can actually paddle it by itself if you want to. You won't get anywhere, but um, <laughs> it's just, it, it is a, a buoyant piece, both of them. Um, both pieces have drain plugs in them, which are important because if you, without this, over time, after 20 years, this plastic will wear down, and even without seeing any cracks or anything in it, uh, water will get into the piece. We'll get so some moisture, yeah, yeah, it's important to have that. Right. So the pieces go together very easily. You just slide them together. You can do it either by standing over the kayak or sitting in front of it like I am. You just want to line up the ratchet straps and put them into the buckles. And essentially, these buckles are just marine grade snowboard boot buckles. It's you know the same technology that you see on the slopes. Um, but you put the two pieces together, you can stand over it um, or stand on it, and you just slide them together so that you hear the clicking sound. When you hear the clicking sound, you know that the ratchet strap's going into the buckle correctly. And then all you need to do is just pull the silver part of the buckle as many times as it will click until it stops. Once, once there's no clicks left, you know the boat's as tight as it'll get. And I'll lift it up just to show you it's a tight joint. You can even drop it, the boat's complete. So that's all it takes to put it together? Yeah, it's pretty simple. Now it seems to me we left a piece out or two, so. Well, this is the center section. This is another great, great thing about this product is that all of these boats, all of our boats, this happens to be the tequila sit on top, all of our boats can be, uh, they're modular, so they can be turned into a tandem kayak if you want to, just by adding the center section. You can buy this, you know, up front, or you can buy it later on down the road. They're like Lego pieces, you know, you can, you can put them together at any time. They're the same molds. They're easier to carry to your car. They're easier to carry down to the water. Uh, they're easy to store. Um, they're probably the only kayak that will fit in an elevator. So if you have a condo or an apartment <laughs> building. That's important um, to know. But most importantly, you can throw it in the back of your trunk. You don't need to buy a, a, a rack. You know, a lot of times a, a rack will cost you five or six hundred dollars. So right. again, for people that are on a budget and want to break into this sport without spending two thousand dollars for the rack, the boat, the accessories, everything, this is a great way to start. Without compromising at all on the quality of the product that, that itself. Absolutely. I mean, this will paddle just as well as any other sit-on-top kayak of the same length. Um, it just happens to be a, a break apart. All right, George, let's, let's go through some of the individual features on this particular model, starting up in the bow there. Sure. So we have a molded handle. Each piece has a, uh, a handle on it, so it's easy to carry. 
Uh, the back piece you can see has a, uh, an actual built-in handle that is black there. Um, the boat itself can be completely customized. You can drill right into here. Um, everything on the boat, uh, all of the pieces are, are Phillips head, so you don't need any special tools to either replace anything or repair anything. Um, and we do stock all of the accessories, including the, the rope, the line, the handles, the, bra the, the brackets. Of course, um, the, the backrest, of course, which, which is available. Yeah, I should say that. That's, that's true. The backrest is not on this boat right now, but it does come with a molded uh, a backrest that's a gray color that slides right into those two slots. But you can drill right into the boat, so it's fully accessorial, uh, accessorizable for, for fishing, if that's even a word. You can put a, a fish finder on here. You can put a uh, camera on here. This recess right here is for the Scotty rod holder. It's right. specifically designed for that. This here can be either a paddle holder or a fishing pole holder. This just comes off. You can slide it on there. Um, you've got your rigging in the back, so you can store things underneath it. Um, so there's, there's scupper holes here. Uh, and in the back piece as well, so um, water will drain through the boat as you, uh, as you kayak. Water won't sit in your lap, and actually I can show you underneath the boat that the water actually will drain away from you in the direction that you're paddling away from. And, and as easy it was to put together, it's just as easy to take apart. Absolutely. Okay. And some people struggle with it because they, they try and stand this way and, and, and jerk the pieces apart. But the easiest way to do it, I actually put my knee right here on the Point .65 North logo. And then uh, the black pieces on the buckles are actually for releasing the strap. Right. So you just push them away from you and you push the piece off. Super. And this is the tequila model. Right? That's correct. And you brought another model with you. I brought the Mercury as well, which is a light touring kayak. It's uh, set up differently, so I'd like to show you that as well. Wow, let's put that up. Great. Okay, George, and this is the Mercury, right? That's correct. What's the difference? This is our newest boat. It uh, just came out in 2013. Um, it's our lo longest modular kayak uh, at 13 feet, longest solo boat, I should say, because, right. again, you can add a center section and make this a tandem or longer. Um, so this boat uh, was set up for light touring, so you'll go a little bit further in this. Uh, with a little less work. Gotcha, gotcha. But just as easy to put together. Little, little different. Um, it has a, uh, a tongue and groove again, but the tongue and groove are set up differently. So again, that, that ridge right there is what keeps the pieces together. Um, and I'll show you how it goes together. Sure, let's do it. So I stand behind the boat. Um, I like to grip the piece with my legs. It just gives me some balance and some leverage. But you line up the ratchet straps and you start the process so that uh, you, you begin to hear the click, knowing that they're going through the buckles. And essentially what I need to do is lift the, uh, the, uh, the tongue over the groove so that it sits into that uh, space that we just showed you. So I begin by pulling it back a little bit and then I just grab the bottom and I pop it. Let me do that one more time. Sometimes you need to finish it off but in this case, it happened to go together. There's no more clicks to, to take out of the buckle. The bow of the boat, or the nose of the boat, uh, goes on in a similar way. I always put the back on first because it's the heaviest piece. Slide the uh, buckles into the, uh, so, excuse me, slide the ratchet straps into the buckles, and then you're pulling the, the piece over the, the ridge that, that is there and finishing it off by pulling on the silver piece. Now you've got a complete boat. Also have the Martini, which is a uh, slightly uh, shorter uh, sit inside. And we have the Apollo, which is a uh, slightly shorter sit on top. Uh, both the Martini and the Apollo are less expensive than the Tequila and the Mercury. So when you take this boat apart, um, even though it's our longest modular kayak, it's also uh, our smallest in terms of storage space uh, because the nose or the bow of the boat fits inside the cockpit here. So when you're putting in your car, in your closet, or your apartment elevator, uh, really all you have to account for are these two pieces, the, the center piece here with the nose in it and the stern. So we have the tequila, which is more of a sit-on, and we have the mercury, which is a longer and, of course, deeper boat that you can work with. I'm Ed Berger from the TAC Direct Pro Staff, along with George. George, again, thanks very much for coming in today. A couple of great new kayaks. If you want more information on either one of these boats, 
great idea would be just call the number on your screen, talk to one of the product specialists here at Tackle Direct. Of course, you can get more information or shop 24-7 at TackleDirect.com. Or if you happen to be in the New Jersey area, stop by our beautiful new 25,000 square foot facility. It's all fishing and kayaking and lots of fun right here, Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. I'm Ed Berger. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in your new kayak out on the water.